So good morning everyone, my name is Dr. Dan Kari and there are my group members Rahul Das Banya, Roshan Casey and Sudhir Madurai. So for today's presentation we have chosen two of the extremely important and broad topic in the field of management and organization that is bureaucracy and motivation. Furthermore, we will be examining the bureaucracy and motivation influence on COSTA. Being said that, for the next 20 minutes, we will be giving a brief introduction to organization and to our chosen unit, followed by its effect on the gold star, uh, criticisms, and lastly, recommendations and conclusions. Now, I would like to start off by giving a brief introduction to the gold star company. So, gold star brand is one of the leading footwear brands in Nepal, which operates under the name of Kiran Shoes Manufacturers. It was officially launched in 1990 by the late Noor Pratap Jaivirana. Gosa shoes also known for its quality, durability, affordability and style. This is because Gosa shoes are made from authentic and genuine materials using the modern technology which lasts for a very long time, hence durable. Moreover, the main aim behind the launch of the Gosa shoes was to provide value for the price conscious customers, hence it is extremely affordable and stylish as well. Because of all these reasons, the popularity of the shoes is not only in Nepal but outside of Nepal as well. Hence, it is sold all over Nepal and India. Similarly, the Gosa production factory currently employs 2,500 people in its factory. Uh, furthermore, as a goal for 2019, the Gold Star is planning to open 40 franchise showrooms across the Nepal. Now, the fun fact, most of the Nepalese people don't know about this and we can hardly even find it in the internet, but the highest number of manpower in the Gold Star factory is the woman. And if you ever wear a Gold Star shoes, you can take a great pride in it because it is a shoe made by women. Now, as we already mentioned that we will be talking about bureaucracy and motivation influence on Gold Star, first of all, I'd like to go in depth about the bureaucracy. So before starting up, let me just give a quick and a brief overview of what bureaucracy is. So whenever we hear or talk about the term bureaucracy, the first thing that comes to our mind is Max Weber. This is because Max Weber was a German sociologist who was very much concerned about creating an effective form of organization and that is how he made a major contribution towards bureaucracy and its theory. So he basically claims that bureaucratic organization emphasizes on speed, precision, regulation, clarity, reliability and efficiency. To achieve all of these mentioned factors, the bureaucratic organization focuses on work division and specialization where works and workers are divided, monitored and controlled, followed by detailed rules and procedures and hierarchical supervision. And last but not the least, impersonality and formal selection. This means there is no biases and every employee in the organization are treated equally. Now, to analyze the bureaucratic or characteristics of the Gold Star Factory, let us, I'd like to start off by giving a very real and a practical example that we personally faced. So me, along with my group members, we personally visited the Gold Star Production Factory, which is also known as Tokyo Karkana, located in Sangha Park, as you can see in the picture. So the first and the foremost thing that we noticed right after we stepped our foot safes inside the gate was bureaucracy. This is because, as far as I remember, I noted down the time very carefully. We reached there by 12 p.m. noon. And just for the purpose of security check, we were kept there waiting for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, we were allowed to go inside the sales department where we were kept waiting for again another 30 minutes. So when we talked to them about our purpose, they said that it's a very long process and it will take time. So after 30 minutes, we were finally allowed to talk with the sales manager. So after five minutes talk, we were again handed down to the corporate uh, office where we had to wait for the next 10 minutes and we finally got to talk with Mr. Uh, Gaurav Bosnet, who was the HR manager of the Gold Star Factory. So in this way, we observed and noticed a very lengthy and formal procedure as a result of which there was a delay in decision making. So this is one of the major characteristics, bureaucratic characteristics that we observed in the Gold Star. Now to highlight more on the other Gold Star uh, bureaucratic characteristics, I would like to call Mr. Sudhip Patrai. Uh, we myself to the board, right? As Norman has already discussed uh, about the some bureaucratic, some bureaucratic uh, terms in in previous, but now I'm going to talk about the some characteristics of each bureaucratic. One of them is history rules and regulation. Is Bolsa is Bolsa is being a bureaucratic company. A proper dress code is um, proper dress code is one of the main factor in the company because company has uh, given the dress code to the worker uh, to 
proper dress code to the worker in their uh, working hour. The worker who is are not, the worker who is are not um, in dress code are not allowed to enter into the uh, company premises. Second one is the strict working hours. Is company this company is running in both shift day and night, um, equaling time of 12 hours. During the 12 hours of working uh, working time, the company has given the 30 minutes of break time, uh, break time and 15 minutes of tea break to the worker. And lastly, the attendance policy is most of the company, most of the company are usable in the attendance policy. But what what we have seen in the in the gold star is electrical attendance policy in the company as the worker as the worker entered into the entered into the main gate the attendance policy is uh, uh, measurable uh, in in the company so that uh, there there won't be any time lose in the production now second one is work division and work specialization likewise in the production in the production field uh, production field the poster is uh, the poster is aiming of five Five factors in production like cutting, stretching, machine production, uh, pasting, and finished product. The company has given the specific tasks to the specific specific employee. No, no any worker are um, no any worker are allowed to enter into the another another process like uh, like cutting. The employee which are involved in cutting process are not allowed to enter into the stretching process. Um, according to the company company rules and regulations, the the worker which are involving in one one department is have to do the work in their own department. Now, um, similarly in personality, likewise in every company there seems to be a selection process. But in the uh, in the gold star company, we observe that we observe that formal process of selection. But um, but uh, company has given some criteria in the selection process. The workers should be both physically and mentally fit. Um, child child labor is strictly prohibited. Therefore, 18 year above 18 years old uh, workers are allowed to work in the company. Like citizenship is mostly required um, by the approved by the Nepal government. And this is the terms so which are involved in the uh, lower lower base worker, but in the higher higher managerial. Post educational background and experience in the related field are mostly mostly required. Uh, and one of the favorite 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 in this company is no favoritism no favoritism regarding the selection process because the company is selecting the employee on the basis of their educational background experiences uh, in the related field uh, like bolster and scientific management. Principle of scientific management uh, tells about the focus on profit and output maximization according to the company company report. The company best year was in 2071 and 72 because uh, each product um, because the company has uh, because the company has product uh, product the twelve pairs for worker foodware. But now the company is aiming to increase the production fair, production production and now aiming of 15 to 16 pairs for um, pairs for shoes. For worker in till 2019, and and another one is stock is no less than one month uh, in the stock market, so that um, there one so that every every month the new product new product will be realizes in the market. Now to increase the profit and output maximization, company is um, company have been using the time and motion study development of principle of principle of terrorism used to increase worker efficiency and product uh, productivity. As Goldstar Goldstar is mostly emphasis on time management. Time management in, is strictly in the in the company because no worker are allowed to enter into the company premises after the. After the relatable time, new projects being held in the past year. In the past year, goals are only aiming of the one brand, but but from now, goals are aiming to increase the new brand in the in the market. Likewise, G10 series has been already launched and now focusing on both men and women's women's footwear in the market. Technology and innovation. Yes, Gold Star is one of the oldest company in the in the Nepal. The machine which have been used used is uh, being older and now they are. They are changing the machine according to the worker friendly environment so that worker worker don't face any problems or physical physical um, physical problem in the company to work in to work for the production. Like like for training for performance enhancement, company extensive training um, perform company perform company extensive training has classified workers into four types zero skill level average skill level high skill level and skill level according to these four four factors um, the company has given the training uh, training to the employee according to their performance in the relatable field um, 
Likewise, um, the company is launching a new training hall preparation for the worker to increase the better enhancement of the product in the market so that every worker uh, every every workers can put the equal amount equal amount of effort to the brand. Uh, likewise, for the more integration, I would like to call Rahul Bania here. Although bureaucracy is considered as a very effective form of organization, uh, it is uh, it isn't without criticism. There are numerous of critics that makes the organization ineffective uh, ineffective however however let us talk in uh, contrast and examine examine how bureaucracy is effective how bureaucracy is effective <coughs> however let us talk in uh, examine that how uh, bureaucracy is effective and above critics the first thing that uh, the criticism highlights is difficult to adopt to change uh, it is it is said that bureaucratic bureaucratic organizations have great difficulties in adapt to change, uh, uh, great difficulties in adapt to change, and uh, because uh, it is due to uh, predetermined goals. However, goals are is completely opposite opposite because it is flexible with changes. Uh, it is flexible with changes for uh, government. For example, government policies are always changing and uh, adapted by the goals are company updated. Uh, but Golsar is considered the only company in Nepal that is uh, ranked number one in terms of uh, being up to date with uh, government policies. Uh, the same goes with the technologies. Uh, same goes with the technologies. Uh, it also uh, forward in updating and up updating and uh, putting the technologies forward. Similar, uh, similar with the uh, the boring and repetitive work among the employees. <coughs> Since the workers are divided, uh, their work and is specialized in their work. Uh, uh, employees feel bored with the same work, and uh, in uh, but in Gold Star, the workers are very happy and satisfied with their work, uh, and comparatively less employees turnover rate in the Gold Star company. Uh, next is uh, demonizing. <coughs> demonizing the employees in the bureaucratic organization. Uh, uh, bureaucratic organization are considered to be demonizing. However, goals are considered uh, con uh, consider its workers as employees, as employees, employees as uh, their assets and uh, personal preference uh, and opinion matters most in the goals are company of their employees. And uh, <coughs> talking about the motivation in, in goals are company, uh, however, it is difficult and it is main issue uh, uh, for uh, companies in bureaucratic organization to motivate, motivate uh, employees and this is how the Gold Star company motivates its employees. Uh, motivation are affected, uh, affects employees' commit, commitments and uh, towards organization, numerous motivational theories and concepts. There are two levels of employees, uh, two types of employees, worker, uh, working level employees and staff level employees. Working level, uh, in working level the production process is uh, done among the employees and uh, the staff level is corporate sector and upper level employees. Hence different motiva uh, motivational factors are there. There are carrot and strict approach. Carrot, uh, in the carrot the uh, employees are rewarded according to their work and performance. Uh, and uh, promotion is done according to your work and the trick uh, is that uh, there is no second chance chance for the employees direct fired if there is found any uh, misbehavior in uh, work time or uh, drinking activities during work time thank you Ron. first of all i would like to talk about the principle of tourism uh, tourism is based on scientific management uh, it claims that economic incentive is the most to motivate employees. Uh, we can relate it with McGregor's theory of X, where they believe workers are lazy and they don't like their jobs. So to motivate them, economic rewards in the form of bonus and commissions is provided them to increase their efficiency. Abraham Maslow hierarchy of needs represent most to least important needs of humankind. For working level employees, they have prioritized the physical needs and for which money is money is required. So they get motivated by economic incentives. Uh, secondly, human relations, which is based on Hawthorne's study conducted by Elton Meyer. People are 
people, uh, the employees in the organizations are social people, they get motivated by social relationship. We can relate it with Matt Grigor's theory of why, where workers are responsible and self-motivated. Uh, due to that, there is a horizontal culture and access to anyone in any way in Gold Star, which create a healthy management relationship. Uh, practical implementation of hierarchy theory. We had visited to the Gold Star and had a conversation with Mr. Gaurav Basnet, who is HR manager. Uh, he was previously working in Chaudhary Group and he fulfilled his all needs and reached to the point of self-actualization and he left the job uh, to, manage, to manage people from lower level to upper level. Uh, other motivational approaches are dress code dress codes, they are, they are going to eliminate the, the, this one to, uh, to develop a sense of freedom and other flexibility in working hours and also they are focusing on infrastructure and development and other facilities to, to motivate the employees. Thank you. I would like to call on that for further discussion. Uh, thank you, Roshan. So in this way, after analyzing all the characteristics of the Gold Star Production Factory, we've come to an opinion and to a conclusion that Gold Star or Gold Star Production Factory is bureaucratic to some extent, but it is moving towards the more flexible form of organization in the recent years. So uh, while collecting the information, we came across their management philosophy, and they basically said that uh, they believe that for every manufacturing house or production factory, bureaucracy is a must for efficiency and for increased performance but however you can have a flexible form of organization in a corporate level so by using the mixture of both the bureaucracy and this flexibility a gold star is performing really well and it is able to establish itself as one of the leading company in the nepal however earlier we mentioned that gold star treats is employed equally but we didn't quite see that in the gold star factory this is because uh, for example, I might be from a very poor background and I might be needing a financial reward, but however, I might also want a social relationship with my colleagues in the management. So, GOSA has completely ignored the social relationships factors to motivate the employees for its working level employee. So, I think working level employees should also be considered to give the social relationships. And moreover, we, all, we also mentioned that it is focusing more on the infrastructural uh, development to motivate the employees. But it is not um, aware that in order to motivate the employees, other factors such as giving them a sense of responsibility and appreciation also motivates the employees. So I think there is a quite a biases between the working level employees and the upper level employees. So every employee should be equally treated. So in this way, we've come to the end of our in this way, we've come to the end of our presentation. So before officially ending it, I'd like to say that all the information that we've collected about the Gold Star Factory is through a primary research. Due to the privacy concerns, we were not allowed it to do any questionnaire sur survey or talk to the employees. So every information is collected through the direct interview with uh, our human, uh, the Gold Star Human Resource Manager, Mr. Gaurav So by saying this, I'd like to end. Thank you so much.